Hey everyone, welcome to the next episode of McRaven's Hardcore. Thank you so much for coming back. And this episode's gonna be pretty exciting, I think. Uh, I think any episode that starts out this way is bound to be exciting, right? You do know this is a mass of skeletons, right? Alright. Anyway, last episode, or the episode beforehand, I don't know which one, but I talked about our drive to get to the end to uh, kill the dragon, and kind of our the steps we need to take. Right now, we're at a point where... Oh, there goes my fishing pole. We need some ender eyes. Badly. And I've been hunting for endermen outside and everything, but it's just, it's so slow and painful, and it's taking forever. So I was thinking of different contraptions I could make and everything in order to get some more uh, ender eyes. Yeah, I kept thinking about it, thinking about it. Really what I need is a sword with looting on it. Looting 2 or looting 3 would be perfect. Uh, and I think it's going to be the most time efficient as well. So, we have some enchanting to do. Hence, the massive skeletons. And this also is a benefit of having a, uh, a brewing room like we do. Because, if you see this little chest right here. These little splash potions of healing. See, skeletons and zombies, the undead, do not like to be healed. So, uh, let's see, we're level 9 right now. Let's see, uh, what this looks like. I'm sorry if it crashes, by the way. Yay! Check that out. <laughs> so fitting, I have a bone in my hand. Yup. Read it and weep. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't see. I can't see! I'm blind! Oh. Oh, there's still more. Ah! Come get it. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, that was a lot. I think that was a lot more skeletons than I thought. Whew, that was fun. Perfect. Right to level 30. Oh, no, wait. There's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Don't, don't even, not in my house. Alright, so, pretty much the, uh, the next segment of this episode is going to be me, um, probably cutting here, running up, enchanting, and then probably running back, because it's probably going to take me a few times. I'm going to try this on iron swords, and, uh, and we'll see how this goes. This may be an entire episode of just me enchanting things, so, cross your fingers, let's see if we get looting three. Of course, this would happen. Just as I started riding my cart back, I saw this guy. And he doesn't know what's about to happen. Get back here! Really? See, this is why. This is why I hate hunting Endermen. I want to point that out. <sighs> Lame. I have no idea where he went. That keeps happening to me, too. Alright, well, we might as well just keep this going. Ready? Ready? Jump in. Go. Go. <laughs> All right. I'm so happy I did this. It's so much more convenient. I'm actually not even going to cut here just because it is such a short ride. I'll cut next time. Maybe. Maybe there won't be a next time. Cross your fingers. No need for a next time. Looting three right here, right now. Ready? Hey, there's a sword I can use. No, I'll leave that one there. I'll make another one. I feel good about this. I feel great. Ready? Ready? Come on! Alright. Well, back to the grind. And here we go again. Give me that good stuff. All right, let's see where this gets us. Come on, man. Here we go again. All right, what is this? Round three. 
die. Come on, Skellies. Come meet your maker. Alright, let's see what we get this time. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not feeling good about this one. Wow. That is an awesome sword. But it's not what we need. Come on. Alright. Here we go again. All right, take four and action. This is going to be a whole episode of just me absorbing XP awards. Enjoy. What do you think? This time? Do I get it this time? I think the uh, the sword we got last time with the awesome enchantments on it was it sharpness four knockback two fire aspect two. I'm wondering, as an iron sword, how does that translate relative to diamond swords? That I think that's something I need to end up looking up, or maybe doing some testing on my own. Please make it to thirty this time. Oh come on! Here we go again. Alright, well, I'm going to get 30, and then I'll meet you back at the enchanting table. Alright, here we go again. I do feel better this time. Feeling kind of positive. Really? Honestly? That's what you gave me. Alright, let's try again. Alright, let's try this again. More XP for me. Toss all this back. All right. Uh, I'm not going to bore you bore you any more than I have to. So I'm going to cut here, and uh, I'll meet you back up at the chatting table again. Alright, so you guys remember when I said I was going to put an enchanting table set up down there by the uh, skeleton XP farm? Yeah, totally should have done that before now. But I didn't. So, yes. Wow! This sword again! Like, this is just ridiculous! Look at all these swords! Well... Here we go again. Looting three iron sword, take 27. <sighs> I'm just going to start skipping all this. Alright, let's try this again. Fire aspect 2, yay! <sighs> Alright, I give it one more. If one more doesn't get it, we're trying something else. That's my ultimatum. See you in a bit. Alright guys, it's time for the last hurrah here. This time I've been really anxious, so I've just been punching them the whole time. And, uh, yeah, we got level 31. It's all or nothing here. We're getting this. If not, we're going to try something completely different. We're going, going a different direction if this doesn't pan out. And I'm trying to not be upset. Not upset, frustrated. I am incredibly frustrated right now. 
I mean, looting, like, just even, like, looting one on something would have been fantastic. Oh, man. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. I'm sure, now that I think about it, I'm sure there's, like, a, a different level range or something I need to do that I haven't been. That would be my luck. Hey, maybe after this I'll uh, research it and then be upset with myself. Alright, might as well do this one right here. Here goes nothing. I'm not upset. I am not in any way upset. But I do know... Let's see. This is our new sword. <laughs> We're using this one now. Ah, that's awesome. And I think we'll save this one, which is the exact same. I think we'll save this one for the Ender Dragon. This one right here. I'm just going to put it up here. There we go. All right. Well, like I said, we're going to try something very different now. So I need to <laughs> do some exploring real quick. Uh, I'm just looking for something in particular. Um, here's a hint. I'm going to take a bunch of this with me. And this is not going to look pretty, but it's going to work, I think. I think. I think. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to cut here. I've cut enough this episode. Half this episode is a montage of me failing miserably. Let's. Uh, we'll explore from up here. Hmm that way <laughs> oh just wait just wait see what I have in store I just need some ender eyes it's not even that like difficult just give me some ender eyes that's it that's it it's okay I'm not upset Also, I thought this was actually much more open than it actually is. That made no sense. I thought this piece of spot of water was um, larger. All right, follow me to greatness. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Bingo. This is gonna work. You'll see. When it when it's all put together, it's gonna work. Essentially, I'm banking on the fact that I've lit this place up enough. Um where we are right now in the caves underneath that uh, if I make pretty much a large little holding cell right here that it'll actually be able to spawn mobs rather efficiently we'll see I mean it's a gamble we don't know how well it's gonna work obviously all right, but this is 24 here. Okay, mobs will not spawn within 24 blocks of me. So if I stand here, they'll be able to spawn from this point onward. So how big do we want this sucker? <laughs> I don't even know. What do we got? One, two... Three, four, five. Three, four, five. I say we double it. <laughs> and on this side. That's better. Still not big enough. Double it again. Well, I'm not going to double again. I'll put another five on here. Two, three, four, five. And on this side. Oh boy, this is going to be massive. 
<laughs> I really hope this works. Alright, well, I'm not going to bore you to death watching this. Um, pretty much, I'm going to make a giant platform here. And that should work for me at night. And then I'll cover it. And that should work for me all the time. So that's the plan. Uh, I'm going to get working on it now. I'll get the platform done and stuff. And then I will have you come back and join me. And we'll talk about it and discuss. And we'll see if it works. See you in a few. Alright, sorry. I know I've cut like three trillion times so far. But, uh, you know, I've been working on this. It's actually taking a long time just to put the base down. Um, but I, I think it looks kind of cool. Just kind of randomly the style I was doing it in. I think that looks awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, thought that was really cool. <laughs> kind of worth showing you guys. Completely random. I was just like skipping a space and then doing lines around. And I kind of kept going with it. And yeah. Alright, so now I'm going to fill in all of those holes. So that's that. Alright. Sorry for all the cuts. Alright, I've got some great news. So you see here, you know, I've been working on the little spawning platform and everything. And I decided, you know, I'm not just going to build a cobble box here. You know, it's got to look nice. It's got to fit. So um, I was out of jungle wood, so I walked in the jungle to get some wood. Uh, which I've been working on, as you see here. Um, well, here, I, I almost got shot in the face, but that's a completely different story. Um, so this is really cool, and I'm really excited, and I hope I don't lose it. Um, Alright, so I walked in this way. Hello, kitty cat. Alright, this is the tree I cut down. So from here, if I remember right, I don't want to get lost again. I think we take a left here. And we continue straight on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yep, you see it. I know you see it. What's that? What is that? Ah, <laughs> looks like we got ourselves a little jungle temple. So we have to go exploring. How lucky am I to find this? <sighs> All right. So I, I don't remember exactly how these work. Uh, all right. Well, if we kill this guy with our superpower sword, bah! you're on fire. Don't die. Don't die. <laughs> Dead. Anyway. All right. So this is obviously the front. So we come in here. We can go up here. Lots of mossy cobble. Keep that in mind. And then we light this up. As you can see, I right, so come in here. Um, I, okay, we came up here. There's nothing really going on. We come down here. This is where all the goodness goes down. These are the three switches. Aha! All right, here's what I do remember. Kind of. All right, there's a dispenser right there. And I'm pretty sure there's a trip wire here somewhere. Ah! Right here. I did not step on it. Alright, so yeah, that just tried to shoot me in the face. And I don't have shears to cut it. But, okay, so you can just hit it. <laughs> What's up, homie? Well, I'm going to take these for later. Thank you very much. Did I get them? Oh, right here. Alright. Nice. Okay. Now there's one there. Tripwire is right there. So step aside. Missed. <laughs> some iron. Some bones. Alright. Take the chest. Oh. We'll take the hooks. We'll take the arrows. We'll take the dispenser. We'll take everything. This is what we do. All right, we're pillagers. This is hardcore, baby. Go big or go home. Got that. Now I have to remember how these work. If I hit one, you hear the piston. Uh, 
Um, where is it though? Open something up somewhere. I do not remember where. Um, let's try to go back around. See if it's anything over here. Is it this? I suppose we could probably just follow the redstone this way. Oh, hello, piston. Hey, guys. <laughs> All right. So maybe the switches work pretty well in, like, adventure mode. No need for it here. A diamond! And more iron and bones. Nice! And, of course, the chest, which we will take. Um, pistons we'll definitely take. <laughs> um, don't need the string. Or the flower. Definitely need the sticky pistons. Nice! And also, well, alright. Let's take the repeater. <laughs> and I think most importantly is these uh, circle stones. Definitely taking these rare gems here. And I guess I'll dump the dirt for it. Nice. Very cool. Neato, gang. All right, now I need to find my way back and get some more progress done on the spawn platform. See you again in a couple minutes. All right, so I finished putting all that together block by block. The way it's supposed to be done. There we go. I call it the kill box. It's really straightforward to the point. The way a name should be. Um, so let's see. This will give you a better view from up here. So that's what it looks like. Uh, I stuck with the same uh, theme. With the jungle wood and the cobblestone. And. You know. It's not super pretty. But it's it's kill box. I mean it's. Supposed to be at least slightly Spartan, you know. Uh, I did have, I did add a little curvature to it. Obviously, right here by the door and around the corners as well. And this is what the inside looks like. Yep, it's all lit up right now with torches because as I was building this, like I'd be over here building, and stuff would be spawning on the other side of the room, which was a annoying, b fantastic. Um, because it's actually working. And then, as you see, there's a bunch of torches on top. Uh, because a lot of mobs are spawning there. Again, I think that's great. So, we're going to eat real quick. And let's kick out these torches. Let's do this. Probably do it from back to front. Oh, man, it's getting really dark. So yeah, bear with me. We're going to kick them all out and then head back outside. I really hope this works. Um, you can probably see from over here. It is three high, which is necessary for spawning Endermen. So that, which is obviously our main goal here. Obviously, it'll spawn a lot of stuff, but we want it to spawn Endermen more than anything. So, Oh, you know what? How bright is it right here? BL's 8. Ugh. Alright, so as of right now... Actually, here. Here's what we're going to do. We'll put a little block right here. Something like this. Oh, yeah. All right, so this front portion right here, nothing will spawn here, but that's kind of a good thing. Um, there won't be creepers when we walk through the door, hopefully. All right. Yeah, I had this up because I was actually checking the light level, the BL. Um, don't forget you can do that. So, All right, well, it's daytime. Um, I'm going to hang out here for a minute. And... Then I'll be right back, and we'll see if anything spawns in there. 
All right, so that was about three minutes. Uh, let's see if we have anything in here. I hear something. Oh! Hi! Hello! Die. Ooh! Okay, well... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Alright, well, it blew up already, so that's something. Ugh. <laughs> oh, man. But that's it, though. Hmm. I feel like it was spawning way better when I was just working on it. Hmm. I have a thing I'm going to have to repair this a lot. Or do a better job keeping my wits about me with creepers. One of the two. You know what? I have an idea for that. I have an idea! What's this guy doing? He's waiting for me out here? I didn't hit him away far enough. Jeez, I'm just having bad luck with creepers now. That's dangerous. I get myself hurt. Or killed. Alright, well, because of all the cuts and everything, I have no idea um, how long this episode is so far. Um, so I'm actually going to call it quits now. What I need to do and what I'm going to work on doing is, uh, sorry, like my mouth just got really dry for no reason. Uh, I'm going to work on finding some Endermen and obtaining their pearls. Give me your pearls. Okay, dudes are still spawning on top over here. Um, so yeah, I think at night I'll roam around outside and see what I can find. And, uh, during the day, I'll probably check back in here periodically. See what I got. Whoa! Check it out! No! Come here, dude! Come here! Yes! Give me a pearl! Of course not. Of course not. Well, we know it can work now. And that's at night, which is impressive. Because obviously at night, they can spawn anywhere. I know it gets really dark when I come in and repair that. Actually, probably when I'm in here at all. So I apologize if you can't see anything when I walk in there. That's why I'm do about to do it off camera. So <laughs> I hope you uh, you were able to follow along with everything going on in this episode and that it wasn't too awful. I'm sorry for cutting as much as I did. I, I really don't like to do that. But um, <laughs> the nature of today's episode, uh, I didn't have much of a choice. So bear with me. Um, also, I've made some changes in my recording quality and everything like that. Don't know if I'll be able to keep it up. Um, I did a lot of testing and everything. This may take a long time to render and upload. Uh, but it should look better. So let me know what you think about that. And yeah, make sure you're keeping up with the Monarch series as well. Um, yeah, I plan on alternating days between this series and the other. And this episode took a lot longer to get out than I intended it to. So you'll probably see another episode later today tomorrow i don't know um but yeah that's it for me for today i hope to see you guys very soon uh and we are on the fast track to kill the ender dragon so subscribe and uh stick with us all right this is mcraven the miner signing out